in our religion king. Those that open their mouth to say anything must be sure of what they are saying. The gods are angry because our people are now talking too much of what they don't do. Was he talking to you? Eh? Don't claim you do not understand what he said. Open your mouth when you are sure of what you follow to say. This is bad woman. Bad woman. Three inches. Lying dead on the staff for a couple of people. Who is doing this to us? Who is here? This is a bad woman.
told you about Igwe in Chikoka. And who and who have you been listening to? Was there a man that ever ruled this land as king before called Igwe in Chikoka? If there was such a man, was he from Obinago? Then, if he was from Obinago, why do we call them evil and inferior? See, well, I need to understand what happened in the past so that we can know how to plan the game and renew the kingdom. I don't want us to talk about this anymore. We are people of a winning kingdom. And I do not want you to talk about people of a winning kingdom. Does it mean that you just cannot think at all? There was a man with Akala yesterday in our house. And that man actually paid Akala to paint the princess for him. And the man is a total stranger from God knows where. And that was the reason why Princess was going to Akala's house. It looks like if there is sense in what you are saying. But I don't know why I find it difficult to believe. So you are telling me you don't believe me? You know I'm not too close to Princess. But one thing for sure that she would not be so low to allow a character as Akala to pimp her to a total stranger. Oh, Why are you thanking God? I was just here telling peace about the stranger that came in here yesterday. And she wouldn't believe me. So, can you tell about that stranger? No, no, no. I didn't come here for all that. I came here simply to publish the orders from the chief priest of the Oracle of Aponiko. This is a new dawn here in order to kingdom. Those that open their mouth will say exactly what they know. The gods are angry. Simply because we are now talking too much of what we don't know. Please do not say I did not tell you what the chief priest said. I have said my piece. I don't believe that the chief priest said that. Where did you see the priest? Amaka, as we speak now, three Ichies have died on the staff of the Oracle of Akuniko. Simply because they said they knew what they don't know. The Ichies that died were Ichie of Edu. And Please, we must open our mouth to say only what we know here in order to the kingdom. Abaka, I have said my piece. Please, I don't want to be part of it. I don't know anything. I know you stay in the last time. What did my brother mean to tell you? He told me that a particular man of Obinago named each one and ruled over the people of Obinago. And they killed him. What did he tell you about the three that you seek? One king. One king should be ruling Obinago and do it. Both kingdoms should not be ruled by independent kings. The Renitan people are resisting this move of the courts. You and I know the present king is sick. He is very, very sick that medical science has failed to trace this illness. Even the medical doctors have not. Trace the king with their axes and watch out to see what the gods have to see what the gods have to see. You see what the gods told me to trace this tree and see the movement of the gods. Now that you have seen the tree, can you as well see that you have seen Concerned about this tree because of the money I was promised, the millions I had in the money. Akala. Oh, 
she cannot promise or she cannot do. But before you go to Akala, you must go to the priest of Akala and tell him that the man that died on the staff of Africa have to be brought back to life. They have a part to play in the emerging dispensation. Men will make a strange demand of you. When the time comes, you will let your heart tell you. Okay, but, but I, I don't I don't know the priest of America. How do I find him? You don't have all the time in the world. Get to the remains of the men. They have a part to play in the imagined disposition. My business again, this is powerful. Oracle. I thought this whole thing was for me to come here and make money and just go. See, I'm gradually being led into veganism. And you, how did you know that I'm here? Were you hiding before? I asked Uncle Dai, but he told me that you slept in his house. And I knew for certain that you would still be here. I came to see you. Uh, Odibo. Do you know the priest of Akuriko? Eh? Yeah. Uh. Are you sure you are not one of those animals that move around kingdoms, stealing deities and idols? Odibo, why would you say that? Because I'm beginning to see you as a thief. It was only yesterday that you came to me asking for the sacred dosis. And we're not yet done with that business. And here you are asking for the shine of Abonico. Listen to me. If you are a thief and have come to steal idols and deities, hey, I want to tell you immediately that Osisim is, is a tree, and surely you cannot steal a tree. The oracle of Abonico is the deadliest oracle on planet Earth. As we speak, three each years are lying dead on the staff of Oracle of Akuneko. Listen to me. <laughs> Bundle your miserable body out of this kingdom before it will be too late for you. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are, you, are, you, are you leaving me? Of course. Why not? What would I be doing with a thief like you? I want to tell you. If the, the millions you told me of is going to come from sale of deities and idols, please delete my name from the possible beneficiaries of your gains because I'm no longer interested. Odibo, those three elders that died, they have a part to play in the coming business. Are you sure you are not in sale? I told you that they are dead and you said they have a part to play in coming dispensation. Can dead men ever play any part in any dispensation? Even you, Odibo. You also have a role to play. Take me to the priest of Africa. You never can tell when you become relevant in kingdom politics. If I discover that you are a thief, that I've come to steal idols and deities from this kingdom, I'm not just going to kill you. I'm going to kill you slowly so that you will feel the pain. I'm going to kill you. Okay. Fine. First, take me to There is a stranger that came into our kingdom. We are surely talking about a man of Zinebi who came searching for the secret to see. Who do you know? 
Are you equally aware that his mission to our kingdom is to become a millionaire? Those that open their mouths to say something must be sure of what they are saying. The goals are great goals. Our people are now talking too much. Is that what you think? That I don't know what I'm saying? That young man was in my place. And before he came to my place, he had already visited the sacred position without right. I stand before the shrine to tell you that you have no right to place a fine on that young man. Are you sure you are the one saying this? A stranger has no right to appear before the sacred position without a That man is not a stranger. And in the coming dispensation, he has a part to play. You see? Have you seen it? See? This was a strange man that went to our sacred position without a guide. And now again, he had appeared before our great Abnani God shrine. Young man! Why are you moving around our kingdom? And you? Why are you leading him back? Are you not the same person that told me yesterday that you don't trust this stranger has inspired you? Listen to me. I want you to visit it in your heart that inspired contract can always be. Am I the one you are talking to? It can still be possible you are not aware. That three Ichies died today on the staff oracle of Akuniko. What is he talking about? This young man here he said those Ichies that died and they have a part to play in the coming dispensation. He demanded that I should bring him before the chief priest of Akuniko. Who am I to say no? That is why we are here. Why are you not saying anything? This young man is doing everything possible. On the mind, the relevance of our custom. Why are you deceiving? I tell you again, this man is not a stranger. I hear the information. I want to tell you that you have not been a good friend to me. Oh, been man. Uh, why would you say a thing like that? I asked you to disclose the identity of the man who has stolen my love for the princess. But you have refused to do that. Why? You know what? I really don't have a lot of time to spend here. You are deviating from what you called me for. And I will appreciate it if you have whatever you have to tell me to tell the princess. Just say it and straight to the point, please. Okay. Can you sincerely tell me the reason the princess does not want to be my bride? Um, I think she actually found out you're into fraud. And you know her kind of person? She's really not comfortable with that. I want you to be sincere with me. Do you believe I'm into fraud? <laughs> Everybody knows that. That's a common knowledge. Personally, I don't have a problem with that. But the woman you want to marry, she's not feeling at home with it. Should I tell you the truth? Yes. I am not into fraud. And what would you call that? What I do is called oil bunkering. Illegal sale of oil. It's not fraud because I sell a product and people pay to have it. You see, Obina, the mere fact that you called it illegal sell or crude oil. It automatically makes it a negative business. And the princess Lane, that you and I know, she wouldn't want to get involved with a man who is into illegal business. You know that? I think it's about time I told you something I'm sure she doesn't. And what would that be? 
her father, the king, is also part of this business of oil bunker. See, Obina, Obina, you have to be very mindful of what you say. Why are you involving the king with this criminal act? I really don't like it, honestly. You know I like him and respect him a lot. Sir, in short. I'm only telling you this because I want you to understand that she's just turning against me for nothing. Listen, her father the king and my father got to be friendly because of this business. We got to be throated. I'm only planning a huge future for her. That's all. I am not into fraud. I mean, if she's against my business, then she should be against her father's main source of income. Are you sure of what you're saying? I don't say things I'm not sure about. The king may be incapacitated, but his boys work every day to remit money into his account. Oil money. The only difference is that we're not registered with the government. But mind you, some government officials are part of this. Wait, 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 wait. This is really getting more complicated. Because she told me that you told her that you've converted a lot of men to be your perpetual paymasters. So, why would you have a lot of men pay to you if you are not into this fraudulent business of 419? I really don't understand that. I only meant clients who have grown to trust us so much. They so trust us they can afford to remit money into our accounts without seeing the product. It has nothing to do with fraud. Yes. I mean, fraud is stupid. I wonder why she would connect me with fraud. Why? What is he trying to do? Oh, oh no, I, I don't know yet. Let, let us watch us. Let's watch us. This place is a strange land. It looks like an evil forest. Please come on of you. Tell me how we got here and what we have got here to do. I am no longer comfortable with this. Who is manipulating the men of Oriental Kingdom? Show yourself and tell us what you are saying. It is clear to me that you are a spirit. And obviously, you don't want to discuss the details. You don't know who to So, what do you want from us? The people of Obinag and Trinity are one. They are equal. Accept this truth. Deny it. Three of us are cabinet members of the kingdom. And there is no way we can be equal with the people of the Yes! We are still out of the people of the And we never assemble the people of the Yes! If you don't like it, kill us if you wish. The time is coming when those who are being we know so much realize that. The people of Obinag and Orenite are one and the same. As long as you may, the city And refer to the people of Obinag and Ethereum. The land is one of the crazy And as long as you have to. You will continue to lag behind. Healing will come to your land when the king is healed. Now, 
Yes, see again. We are talking about this. I'm going to He's not Understand with the people of Obina, there shall be no discrimination. We are no inferior for speed. Hello? Can you explain to me what is going on? I feel the person do you know of this kingdom is in a better position to explain to you. I don't know what is happening. I am trying my possible best to understand you. What is my business with moving? Was it the one that asked you to be married? I am sorry, Obina, but I cannot continue with this call, please. You don't dare. Why are you doing everything possible to get me angry? Are you aware that three chains of this kingdom died today? Are you aware? Who is feeding you with such, such baseless information? How could three chains die? The three chains that died were. She opened, immediately, and then. 
Et il qui fait. Tête How But strangely, the three men that died are suddenly back on their feet again. And everybody in the land is interested in the incident that led to their death and their revival. So I will advise you go and ask questions. And please, I cannot continue with this call. What? Died and rose again. What's the game of this? What what game are they playing? Something very strange happened earlier in the day. And I want to ask both of you. You actually understand what happened earlier today? Our week is not to understand what happened. It's in the meantime, the both of you. The king and Ono who have contracted a native doctor from Obinago in order to intimidate us. In order to bring us down. Listen, I don't know what both of you are thinking. But I will make sure I stop them. Even if it means fighting them with the last drop of my blood. Ichi Ibenebu. Have you forgotten that you were dead persons a few hours ago? Yes. That is exactly what I am saying. Have you asked yourself how we died? And how we came back to life? That alone would have taught you that the king and Ono are up to something. And I'm not going to fold my hands. I'm watching. I will prove to them that any man who has become a masquerade is permanently a masquerade. They tell me, man. I want to be very sincere with both of you. I am no more comfortable with the kind of politics we are playing here. We accuse the king falsely, and we have seen the result. So what are we saying? In fact, I am out of it. I had died and then came back to life. What's the meaning of that? The only thing I'm going to tell you now is that men that thought they know so much, it is like it, it, it finally dawned on them and they don't need anything at all. I will give you one advice. Not the case I want you. I'm going to see you. You and your fellow idiots die and we brought back to life. That's the question. The king and Ono who have contracted a meeting of us on Obinago in order to intimidate and humble the men in council. Other elders have humbled. But I, even a good man, just to them, promised. Yes. And you gracious explain to me what is going on. I, I want to get a picture. The only thing I am going to tell you now is that you have to accept the sick as your king. What? What rubbish are you spewing out of your mouth? 
How can you say that? You are in my house, under my roof, and I'm talking to you as a nation. You have to accept that king. That sick king has no There is something I am trying to understand. You are looking for the young man. And you came to ask me. Why are you not asking me? Why are you always talking as if you are not concerned about the revelation? The visitor is on the verge of breaking billions to the billionaire here in this kingdom from our own system. And nobody is doing it and that's it. I'm telling you to your face. What is your problem? It's impossible. If glory has to be given here, I have served this kingdom right from hand. I'm not a visitor. Did anybody tell you what? I was born and came for you. Did anybody tell you that? I am the one that is going to make you realize this. Why are you doing this? Helen will come to the king. And when that happens, there will be peace. The dream will be there. down to this place. All the way from the express, I was told that all the money I needed in my life is in you. you. I am here to tell you one thing. I am sick and tired of this whole process. I am. Up till now, I have not seen any money. Nothing. What I have seen is that I am gradually being lured into becoming a, a native doctor. Helping people. Solving problems. Even raising the dead. Something I, will, I, I always rejected all my life. But it's okay. Enough. I'm standing before you to ask you the money. The money, when am I seeing it? When? When? Seriously, you are very rubbish. One thing I have to do is fear. 
You know about this. Pastor said I should find this tree and ask of it anything I want. If you want to. Is that the reason you decided to move faster than your shadow? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean it that way. I need money. Things are bad for me. I like business is bad. It is quiet. I like the peace. Ask me, mighty, so that the peace process can commence. What do you consider right? The king of Orenitalu is afflicted with what is called an incurable sickness. I don't know how you are going to do it, but if you are able. Heal the king. Then you have started the peace process. The money will come when we succeed. Goodbye. Well, it's, it's, okay. it's okay. As I mean, no problem. But let me just say it. If I find out that in the end I was lured back to this village to come and become a little girl, I'm such a terrible little dog that people will wish I never came back. I don't know what you're still doing here. It's late and I need to go in and sleep. Since you have refused to come to my place, I don't see anything wrong if I decide to stay back. Are you listening to yourself? You want to stay in the palace with the princess? Why are you such a terrible man of this kingdom? Why? Princess, I know you are seeing someone else and that's why you disrespect what we share. Can you at least tell me who the person is? Do you know what I'll tell you? Good night. What do you think you're doing? Blocking me from going to sleep? I know the reason you are acting this cold towards me is because you think I'm it. It's not what I think. It is what you know. You're into fraud. 419 that converts men into what you call perpetual pain masters. Mm -hmm. I do the same business with your father. I came tonight to put the record straight so you don't make a mistake in regards to the future. What do you mean by my father and you do the same business? What do you mean by that? Very boy. My late father comes to the poor father. So if you hate me for my business, then you should hate your father for his business. And if you must forget everything, don't ever forget you if you're a strong man. I love you. Thank you. 
Good night. They will not do the way you're gone. Ichi, don't tell me you are not getting what I'm saying. The tree is now ready to make some people millionaires, and I want us to be the ones to grab this money. You are one radical man in this kingdom, and I, I, I love you for that. I don't know why you are confusing me the more. I'm telling the radical man that there is an amount of money to be grabbed, and you are dragging your feet. Ichi, why are you dragging your feet? Adigo. I am not going to dabble into the rubbish you call radical. Because I know from the deepest part of my heart, if you are required to define radical, you are going to fumble. You won't be able to define the word you are using. And so I don't want to go into all that. What is the source of your information? Wait, DJ. Is this another way of saying that you don't trust me, Odibo? Odibo, there are too many several things happening in this kingdom presently and nobody is talking about trust. As far as I am concerned, I can tell you authoritatively that even trust itself has become very strange to me. Who told you that this tree is on the verge of giving people money? That is what I want to hear. The revelation came from the same man of Obenago that raised you from death. Listen, let me tell you, Ichi. His original plan for coming into this kingdom was to grab the money. Those of us that have lived in this kingdom all our lives should be the ones to grab this money. To become these billionaires, I'm not a stranger. A visitor from the Binago of all places coming here to hijack the money. No, they will listen. This is ungodly. But they will listen to me. As long as you are under my roof, standing here in my living room, you cannot afford to sustain this discrimination between the Binago people and our people. Well, you don't have to call the names. Ichi, don't tell me that you have finally joined them. The people that believe that we're in the same class with the people of Obilab. Have you finally joined them? Look at my face. We're in the same class. Hey! Listen to me. Do not ever sustain. I have learned some things. Very strange things are happening around me. As a brother, do not sustain this nonsense argument that there is any difference between the Obilab people and our people. Because we are the one. We are the same. We are in the same class. I don't want to go into all that. I want us to discuss how we are going to stop this man of Obedago from coming into our kingdom to grab this one. Confide in me. Tell me what we are going to do. I believe you can stop it. But DJ, I need you. She asks of you, that is what she will do. 
I am asking you to heal my father. Let me tell you one truth. My mother does not believe in you. In fact, almost all the people in the land do not believe in you. I am the one who believes in you. And that is why I'm here. I am the princess of already Telu Kingdom. And I am asking you to heal my father from this terminal sickness. An elegant and educated lady like me is not supposed to engage in idolatry. Talking to you, a metri, is idolatry. I am doing this because of my father. Why are you proving them right by being silent and helpless? Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? This is the secretary of my people. How did you get in here? The king of Orenital is afflicted with what is called an incurable sickness. I don't know how you have been through it. But if you are able to kill the king, then you will start this process. The money will come when the priest is Goodbye. King of Orenitan, you see. Sick of what they call incurable sickness. I managed to heal the king and trigger out the peace process between my people. That's not what you mean by if you manage to heal the king. The king will be healed by this tree. That is why I'm here. How the resurrected. Show me the key. Let's see. Princess! What are you doing before this sacred house? And you? What are you doing with the princess that is already been told to be no cage in Fabulary? Eh? Oh, I don't have what to say. I don't have what to say. Now I know. Diagnosis of elephantiasis. That one has been healed. His legs are normal. But the problem here is that he cannot stand without assistance. Medical science has given up on him, and the last doctor that came advised me to explore other options. I went to that tree because I was told that healing can come from that tree. Mm. 
one thing should be ruling open up or any time. Those kingdoms should be independent kings. During the time people are resisting this move of the gods. You and I know the present kings. It is very, very sick. Medical science has failed to trace this element. Even the medical doctors have no idea. Trace the tree in their eyes and watch out to see what the gods are not listening. You see the movement in the gods' eyes. The movement of gods. Do you know what that means? Some elders accused my father of secret sins. They said my father is sick because he committed secret sins and they swore by the staff of Akoniko and died instantly. Is that what you call the movement of the gods? Or are you also accusing my father? The people of Obidago and Ovenitana should be under one king. Your people are resisting this reality. And that is why your father, the king, is sick. You are surely talking well. How could you say a thing like that? If only your father would accept this truth. That your people and my people are one in the sight of God, our Creator. This incurable sickness would depart from him right away. I'll talk to you that. My uncle called it the movement of the gods. And right now, everything is starting to join. Like I said, your father just has to accept that your people and my people are one, and he will be healed in this minute. I, I don't understand what you mean. You're confusing me. You must never be confused. I've already told your father that I have no more disability against the people of the world. And we should see ourselves as one. Um, what is eating you up? Adiko, why are you looking upward? Obina, I used to think that you followed after your father. I used to think that you are a strong man just like your father, but I now know better. I now know better. Have you come to my house to insult me? What are you talking about? The princess who is betrothed to you is now busy moving around the kingdom with the man of Obinago. In your capacity as Obinu Keje. Tell me, what have you been able to do about it? Will you shut up your mouth? Who is feeding you with such lies? Who told you that? Who is this man of Obinago? If I were you, I would not be busy. Asking nonsensical questions. I will move straight to the palace and see things for myself. And let me quickly tell you if after informing you and you fail to do anything tangible today, I will confirm the impression I have of you as a weakling. Take it from me. Marriage is not my obsession for now. If you are so much in a hurry to give out your engagement ring, why not go out there and find another medium? She will be very happy to be your bride. Bring my lips. I have a different surprise. She has a different surprise. Can you explain this? What are you doing here with a stranger? No, nobody's a stranger here. We are one with the people of Obinago. Nobody's a stranger. What are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here with my husband? Before you were married by the king, 
So man had uncovered the secret most hissing world of his law, and he held it with an angry tree. Right now, as we speak, the tree is back. It can only mean one thing. What are people doing in this way? Did you hear that? You are not the chosen vessel. But you can still be relevant. If you want. Healing will come to the king. And when that happens, there will be peace between Obinago and I should aspire to see that day. Could this be the day? Audible. Audible, you are gradually going and see. How far out? Are you, am I the one you are calling the insane? Or are you referring to someone else? I am talking to you. But boy, you are talking to yourself these days. Hold on, let me let me just spell it out. Probably you have not attended school. By way of uh, interest and by way of education, at least I'm higher than you. When you start talking to yourself, it simply means that's it's okay. You just hold it there. Hang on. How much is your money? How much am I owing you? I don't want to make a, I don't want to make a, I simply want to educate you on certain aspect of life. How much is your money? I'm going to ask you this for the last time because if I'm leaving this place and you try to block me, it's going to be the perfect obituary of this your miserable part. Are you hearing me? How much is your money? Yeah? Look at you. Just take it at yourself. After all your education, this is where your education has brought you. Ordinary man in, 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 in our kingdom. That is, you just look, look at your bar, look at your education. The bar of this education, you should understand the, the condition of this country. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you are selling it, whether you are running a bar of books. Now you see me this way, it doesn't mean that I am just with you. Time. Time. time will come, my education will come. I said, I don't have all the time in the world. How much is your money? Why would it, what's the thing for being in a lecture hall? You know how to lecture like this as you are sitting here. Tell me, how much is your money? Let me be free. I've not even told you for my own level of education and you're saying nonsense. How much is your money? Yeah. Every time I will come to this bar, you cannot even put on a, 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 a complete uniform that will match you. After your education, you cannot even dress yourself up. You can share your education as well. You also have a bar in our village. Look at, 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 look at. You are coming to educate me. I have not even opened to you by the name of Try that next time and I will just, I will just stand here.
or no Uwungu. Why are you always calling me at night? Is there any problem? Uh, no, I received a call from the parents. Can I go for the parents? Yeah. Is there any development? Um, the girl is up. Assemble all you men and sit in council to the palace tomorrow. The king is back on his feet. I don't understand. How is that ever possible? How can the king be back on his feet? <laughs> it was the king himself that called me. <laughs> if he were still sick and incapacitated, he wouldn't have called me. So try and show up in the palace tomorrow. 9 a.m. I have this feeling that we are on the verge of. Okay. I'll be there by 9. <laughs> Alright, good night. Bye. You can't imagine what I see. The idiot was already adorned in the new Africa. We were going to have dinner with him. Can you just picture that? Can you imagine the setting? The king of Oren took him. Why? He dying with a man of that. You said they invited you into the real dining room. Yes, they did. And I declared. Why did you decline? What is wrong with you? What do you take me for? Some pauper that is moved by real dinner? I am me. Whatever they have in that palace, I have abundance of it in this house. So I cannot descend to the level of wine and dining with some low class new entity. Robina. Eh, Robina, I wouldn't want us to descend to the level of a sort of prophet. Because it has been revealed to me that we came from the same place. Automatically, we are the same. Please, I want us to concentrate on the princess. I will be disappointed. It will be your people. <laughs> One of which people wants to unite with the people. Please, I beg you. Please, I beg Helen will come to the king. And when that happens, there will be peace between Obinago and Oranita. Okay. As far as you say that day. Obinago, the peace between these two communities will bring progress in this land. I want you to aspire to leave us in that peace. I think you are mistaken. Truth is better, isn't it? You are asking me to leave your house because I told you the truth. You don't know anything about the truth. Get out of my house. Maybe the amalgamation of our people and the people of Obinago bring peace to this land. Even as we speak, I can see the peace fast approaching. Please, don't do anything to prevent this peace and I want us to participate in the places. Do you know why? Because it is your call. It's not my call. Get out. I will leave. Do it. It is your call. My name is Obin now, Kirchner. I don't take shit from anyone. Well, one thing I know for sure right now is that my people. We should be united. We should be ruled by God. Tell me about your father. Or, in fact, tell me about your family. Okay. Uh, my father. My father was an interdoctor. 
probably the most powerful native land that I ever lived in over there. That is several years ago, but I can tell you that he is still very powerful. And he's still part of the politics of Obina. If you were talking with, how can a dead man be part of the politics of the people? It's not possible. It was my father who forced me out of the country. I still have my shop there where I sell land. Father appeared to me somewhere. In fact, he practically frustrated me until one day I realized I just had to come back. So far, I don't know why. Consistent in urging his son to leave Abuja because he had better things to do in this kingdom instead of wasting his time selling bangles and, and drearies and chains in Abuja. He was a powerful man of man. Helen called him a stranger. I want to know what you will call him. I can't believe this. What is going on? Why are you looking at me? Your father has appeared to me before. Where? In this palace. He was the one that told me that some elders were holding secret meetings to remove my father's king. He was also the one that told me to make a move and heal my father. What is his interest in all this? What is it? See? Exactly why I told you that my father is the He is the lot of politics. I may not know his interest, but one thing I know for sure is that he wants peace to return to his land. Sleeping with the princess. I beg your pardon. Are you insulting my daughter? No. Far be it from me to insult the same princess I think I am. All I'm saying is we shouldn't allow every every idiot into the palace. I mean, they shouldn't even be seen anywhere near the palace. That's my point. Well open now. It might interest you to know that, as we speak, the king is meeting with his men in council, finding the possibility of declaring him a complete man of his kingdom. I would advise you to try to see if you can bring back the heart of the princess instead of dabbling into it. What? This man is gradually gaining crowds. I really have to do something. It happened yesterday. And uh, ever since then, I'm growing stronger and stronger. Oh, you were. Your Majesty. 
Please, I want to understand something. Are you saying it's the same man that healed you? Exactly. Exactly. And uh, I called us here to ask only one question. Is there any reason why we shouldn't declare him a complete man of this kind? The council is looking at me as if my question is unclear. I repeat, is there any reason why we shouldn't be here? Your Majesty, yes. I had a revelation where it was made clear to me that here we come to the land where the king is here. The king has been healed, and I can see the healing coming clearly. You are the king, the ultimate king of this kingdom, and if you have decided to declare this man a complete man of our land, we don't have any problem with that. Despite what happened in the past, the truth remains that you are still the king, and I acknowledge before you that you are indeed a great king of this kingdom. Um, uh, tell us what you have to say. Yes, he will. The main fact that a young man is from Ubina has already made him a complete man of this kingdom. We all came from the same. And I sincerely don't think he will be a complete man by the declaration of the king because he is already a complete man of this land. What we should be discussing is how to make every man and woman of our land to realize that we share the same origin with the people of Ubina. And all this unnecessary discrimination is sustained against them over the years. No stop. Adelika, you speak abomination. Yes. Um, Your Majesty, I have decided to stand on my feet and address this august body because. The issue we are discussing borders on the future of our land. And I want to say that whenever we are talking about future, we should be very, very careful. We do not talk about future without remembering the past. <clears throat> uh, some years back, my father told me a story about the great Igwe. The great man from Obinagu who ruled as king in our land. Eventually, he was assassinated by our people because he was trying to use his position as the king to intimidate our people. And since then, Obinagu men have been looking for a way to avenge this man's death. How are we talking like blind men? How can we allow Obinagu man to dwell in our midst? Eventually, he is going to destroy us. And when destruction comes, it is total. To so your majesty, I... Obinagu men remain Obinagu men. They cannot match with us. And that is my stand. God, I want to ask you one question. Go ahead and ask me. Do you realize that you are talking about the same man that raised you from the dead? It is my imagination. Who is not here present has accepted this man. Even in Chiego who is right here with me, has also accepted him. Why are you playing politics with something like this? Oh no, I don't play politics. I am not a small boy. Eh? I know that plans have been made for the high places in order to instill fear into men in council. Your imagination. But as I speak with you right now, 
Many of us have been killed. But I, Ibn Ebu, have refused to be killed. Obin Agumen will remain Obin Agumen. We cannot murder them. That is my stand. I know you will be wondering why the king asks you to follow me. Yes, you, you just read my mind. Of course, I'm wondering, but uh, I trust the king. So, why am I here? This kingdom holds you in high esteem. You're an important person. And by the order of the king, I bid you welcome to your new apartment. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. I really don't understand what you mean by my new apartment. Is it possible for you to reach the king and tell him that I am not here to live in the palace? I'm here for something very important. And it is I can't I... tell you what the king said already about you. You're a great man. This kingdom is overjoyed by your presence. The king in particular. And he wants to live close to him. Live by him. Live here. If there's anything you would need, don't hesitate to call on me. I'm of your service. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank Excuse you. me, sir. The news everywhere is that you fell in love with this strange man from Obinago. So I came to know what's going on. You see, this is one thing I hate about our people. They gossip too much. Hey, they say that this strange man now lives in the palace and that the king has even given him a house. They also say that he has supernatural powers and the princess fell for him after he's used his chance to raise three chairs from the dead and also heal the king. That's what I had. I want to get one to you. Do you believe that Princess Lin, as a Princess Lin of all people, could fall in love just like that? What do you thank me for? A lady that doesn't know what she wants? Uh, uh, do you think I believe all this? I wouldn't be here if I did. But there's a lot of talking and gossip. There's so much news in town. And you are my very close friend, so I feel I should come here and hear from you firsthand. Okay, the truth is this. I totally lost interest in marriage because of my father's sickness. But now that the king is back on his feet again, I am beginning to think of marriage. Hey. So you concluded that Obina is into illegal business and you don't even want to think about him anymore? You not think about this strange man with strange powers and the so-called superman of Obina with weird powers? No, I am not thinking of anybody. Wait, wait, wait. Obina is an illegitimate businessman. And you, the Princess Lin, that I know, you wouldn't want to marry that kind of man. I discussed with my father, and he confirmed to me that Obina does the same business with him. So he's not a first star as I used to think. The king may be incapacitated, but his boys work every day to remit money into his account. Oil money. The only difference is that we're not registered with the government. But mind you, some government officials are part of this. Princess, Obina personally told me that what he does is called illegal exportation of crude oil. They're not even registered with the government. So what do you call that? 
Is that a legitimate business? So, are you telling me that the King of Ireland is involved in an illegitimate business? Mind you, Francis, you're in the palace and you should not speak evil of the king. He's coming! When those that think they know so much realize that they know nothing, The people of Obinago and Orenitelu are one and the same. As long as you men continue to sit in council in Orenitelu. And refer to the people of Obinago as inferior. Your land will continue to wallow under a sea king. Healing will come to your land. When the king is healed, do you still remember the revelation we had? As the before the black life was And what has that got to do with it? Can't you see that Bono and the king are manipulating us? That is the only strange thing I can imagine. Maybe I have to trigger you. Healing is going to come to the land where the king is. The king has been healed. And the prophesied healing is administered in the face. Why are you standing in the way of the Ego be Can't you see what is glaring? Can't you see? The young man is simply adding the script written by Ono and the king. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and see reasons why we should be Can you close this topic, please? And understand that nobody is acting in the script. Nobody is acting in the script. What I have seen here is that the gods of this land are making a move. It's a lie. The cause of our land cannot allow a move for a strange man of Odinado to become a complete citizen of our land. Never. <laughs> eh? Can't you see the handwriting written boldly on the wall? There is no handwriting. You are the one that is seeing it, and I have seen it from the eye of the gods. Listen to me. The king and the majority have made a decision. And the king has made a declaration on it. And it, it, it starts. You are moving from door to door, scheming. Cannot say anything. From door to door, movement cannot say anything. Hello? My name is. How are you doing in Jamie? Sincerely, I must confess that I'm not fine. What is the Do you know that Ono and the king have manipulated all the elders in Castle? And it seems I am the only man standing, standing all alone, because I cannot agree to their evil plans. I'm excited. You're excited? Why are you excited? I agree with the blind man of this land. I'm excited because of your talents. And how you go about it. telling them that you want to do it. It's unacceptable. The romance between the people of Obinago and their people is not accepted, even by me. Because as it stands, I am ready to fight it with the last drop of my blood. Yes. I'd like to see you. Um, tonight, are you coming to my place or you want me to branch as I'm going back home? I prefer you branch to my place. Oh, well, then, um, that's all right. It's a big tuition. Yeah. I'm happy there are some men that cannot take this ballot in souls. Or whatever. You should have been a good way. I need to walk this country. I don't believe it. Can't you see we are no longer partners? We are no longer working together. You now work for Ono and the King. So there is no way I can disclose my new partner. What kind of writing is there? 
Zizi. She had been a good one. Why is it that this man can never discourage you? I am not hiding anything from you. There are issues, what I must have with them. I am your wife, Silas. Something is wrong somewhere, you have to share with me. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? You are dying slowly and I can feel it. Tell me what is eating you up and we can face it as a family. What kind of issue? Okay, just allow me to face this as a man. Honey, your stress is my stress. I have to start talking. Birds that lay the strongest of eggs do not make their own nest. They feed the nest made by other birds. To lay their own eggs there. It takes great gods to build on a strange foundation. Is it possible that? Who? Oh. Forces mightier than you have already made you a millionaire. You must trace this tree in real life. To see the meaning. Hello. Confirm to me that this is Amichi of Ubinago and I'm very happy. Good. Please realize that I'm a friend. Is this Amichi that was arrested as Anozier for the murder of Chifu Fuse? Oh, well, I, I don't know who you are. But well, the said Amechi of Obinado was investigated and he was released because he was not a murderer. So you can go to the CPS and inquire from Inspector Silas. He handled the case. I don't know why you're calling. I am Inspector Silas and I'm calling because I have a problem. And I know you can help. Oh, Inspector, how are you? What, what, what's wrong? What do you need my help? As I speak to you, I'm at the verge of losing my job. Okay, please, please, open up to me. What happened? I know that you are a good man. I will help you. It's not something we can discuss over the phone. I want to see you too. Uh, uh, right now, I'm not in the kingdom. Actually, you know, it's a kingdom. I don't know what happened. Just direct me. Alright, fine. I'll send you a message. Listen, poisoning the king is not the issue here. Our problem is Prince of Abuiko. Because you know he is the one that the call it is The moment we get him down, we can succeed in our plan. Yeah, I... I'm thinking about that, the problem is... I was told that the priest of Abuiko is almost a spirit. Now, how do we go about it? Men who wish to succeed. The best thing we do right now is to terminate him, kill him, feed him on you. Then we can have him again. I recall all that you told us about your father. And what your father actually told us himself. And I got convinced that you didn't know. I'm nervous. So, what happened? Because I don't think he would just wake up one morning and decide to dismiss you from the force. Something must have gone. Tom, 
I was this lady that supplies of stationaries. CPS. I never knew she was dating the air commander. I had an issue with her. And before I knew it, I had to come and meet you with the air commander himself. As we speak, he has told up all manner of lies against me. And my file has been forwarded to the first headquarters for possible commentary. I've spoken to everybody I needed to speak to. And they all blaming me. I should have had an issue. Oh, okay, so what was the issue you had with it? I found out that she was supplying us low quality materials the price of the original one. Looking for one drawing two million here. And I tell you that she called me a brat. I never knew she was running the racket for the boss. It's just an outfit. Oh, this country. But well, let me ask you, are you telling me the truth? Nothing hidden. The truth. Okay. Well, uh, I can't say how this will finally end up. But one thing I can say is that those who strive to hide the truth and punish the just, they don't always end up well. So I'll tell you this. Go back home to each other. And realize that all the men who are holding this country down they will soon have reasons to cry. See, evil men are scattered everywhere. But evil shall never, ever triumph over truth. Never. Go. Cool. The reason I said I don't want to be any man's wife is because of your ailments. I was so empty and frustrated seeing you lying sick. But now that you're back on your feet again, I am beginning to think of marriage. Oh, that's what they're expecting. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that as everybody's praying for it. But I must ask you, who do you want to marry? Come on, Dad, you shouldn't ask such a question. Sure, I know that the marriage of the princess follows a process. And I am betrothed to Obi Lugeje, which is the first phase of the process. And I am going to marry him to make you proud. I must tell you that my pride is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. The most important thing is the happiness. And based on this, well, I'm asking you to make sure that your mind will be now catching. will guarantee your happiness. It sounds as if you don't want me to marry him, father. But I, I could know that you told me on my secret that you don't like the man. I'm surprised you're talking about it now. Well, father, I said so because I was thinking he's engaged in some illegal business. But now I've confirmed that he do the same business with you. I don't see anything wrong in settling for him as my husband. Uh, well, don't go down. Uh, the princess must marry the best. If you are sure that Obina Okeje is the best, then you can settle for me. But uh, your happiness is the most important. And uh, to me, the only thing that counts is your happiness. Trust me on that, Dad. I know what to do. Is that enough? People without conscience. People that hold the country to ransom. People that we can call destroyers are the ones empowered to lead innocent people. This country is not blessed with the best of leaders. Why are you doing this to me? You called and asked me to come with the ring. Now I am here with the ring and you are asking me to take it back. Why are you toying with my emotions? Why? 
I just held a meeting with my father before you arrived and he said certain things. So I think we should not be in a hurry. What did the king say? Do you love me? How could you ask me that? If I didn't love you, what would I be doing in the palace on this week? I love you so much and that is why I came to engage you. Your, your initial hesitation was born out of the fact that the king's condition was bad. Now the king is fine, he's normal. And I see no reason we shouldn't get married. Marriage must first happen in the mind before it happens in the body. I don't know why we've not agreed in the mind. I don't know. Princess, you are the one who thinks that we, I know we have agreed in the mind. Our minds are in cohesion. Just, just overcome your fears. I want you to jump over all the hurdles that put you down. I want to marry you. I love you. Forget about the intruder who has come to put us apart. This love has been established in years and years ago. Let's just consummate what we have. Please say yes. Please. I. The king is dying. Save me. such an ingrate. My father gave you everything. He accepted you as a son. Why did you kill my father? You must be No, honestly, I am not judging you. I am telling you exactly what you know. You wanted to avenge the death of Ibn Jikoka and then you murdered a man that gave you life. A man that gave you life. Did anyone tell you that my family participated in the death of the man of your land? Why must you kill my father? Why? You killed him so that you want to start to value life. And when he started to enjoy that life, you killed him and your business to make it so painful. Then tell me who did. Someone you trusted. You know what? That person is you. Because he trusted you. He trusted you and, and he, he, he accepted you as a son. He told me that you, you have policies for greatness and that he's ready to do everything for you, anything for you. 
I hate you betrayed him. And Lucy, I hate you. I hate you with passion. I so much hate you with passion. of Obinago in them. Countless number of times to tell us what he knows about the death of our king. About the sudden death of our king. He has to say nothing. This means that he is the one that murdered our king. This leaves us with no other option than to execute him. Wow. Yes, execution. Now I know that you are still the Odo of Oriental Kingdom, and I am right here. Let us go ahead and that no I want members in cast to hear my voice. You cannot execute a man that said nothing. It is not done anywhere. I want to get the political as the saying of our people that they are making reference to. May be right in some cases. It cannot be right in all cases. Especially when we are discussing something as gigantic as the death of a king. Don't say the death of a king. Because the king was murdered. How can you say that the king was murdered? Can you prove it? When princess was discussing with the fiancé, planning their marriage, they had a voice of the dead king from inside. Uh, when they got there, they met him beside the king. Now, the question begging for an answer is, what is an open and king? With all due respect, your submission is not. You have not said anything at all. Because it is possible that the king died naturally. And this man of Obi Lago that they tried to describe it was actually on the verge of reviving the king. It is possible that he came on his own to revive the king. Why are you doing everything humanly possible to smuggle in more than you eat? Uh, my fellow elders, I would like us to do one wise thing. Let us invite the man here and ask him questions. Let me this time around, he will speak. How can we operate this? He has condemned himself the very moment he gets silent. So we have no other option. And I am telling you again, it is not done anywhere, and there is no way we can destroy this kingdom. I kill the man that said nothing. In fact, it is possible because I can see it. The reason we are doing all this, we are blind spiritually, we cannot see. And to solve this problem, I have invited a man of good land who is actually having a very close here. Who will come here to solve this problem for us once and for all? The man of good land is now the movement of the gods. Eh? Oh no. I was beginning to like him. 
How on earth would you lose a link? Something tells me it will do it. Don't be afraid to be lost. It's there. Hold it. Hold it. You yourself see. The king was ill and act as an attendant. And then I was talking to you and another person walked in to say the king had died. And you see, it's a grand plan. Which means he knew where every one of us was at that time. And he sneaked in and murdered the king. How did he do it? No, 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 answer me. How did he do it? He was very close to the king. In fact, there's nothing in this plan that the king did not tell him. In fact, the king took him as a son. So, how did he murder the king? How? Don't be ridiculous! How can you talk like that? You don't know the history. Huh? Every man of the people would believe that the king murdered his own child. Who they took as a brother? Now, that fool took vengeance on us. Forget the, the hand of fellowship the king offered. No, he was just a time war waiting to accept. Yesterday was a perfect time. He exploded on the king. And I can tell you, I can bet on my life that in Obina, they have a choice. General impression about my people. Some people of Obina, the one that unites, they take vengeance. And I tell you the truth, you the contemplation of the life of Igwe Tiwoka. Which I tell you immediately. I remember asking you about it, which and you refused to speak. Now you see what it led to. I don't know what to say. I think the best thing to do is to let the elders and elders. No, 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 Your Majesty, no. You are the Queen Mother of this kingdom. Your position is an exalted one. You have a say in all of us. That man should, he should not just be left to grow like that man. He should be prepared to feel the pain. He should die soon. He should, he should feel the pain. Kill him slowly so he dies and feels what he has done. Ichiego Ife invited you from Obinago Kingdom to come and defend your brother. And you have the effrontery to come into the palace of the little kingdom. Now tell us what you are here to do. Tell us why you are here. I can tell the elders here. Say, you came. Shh. Suwagolo. Are you listening to this, Jester? We already know that our king was not that. Your brother murdered our king. Now tell us what you tell the king before Abuneka will strike you. I am speaking on that the direction of your king of and your king of our kingdom. Someone is balanced on the wise position, and the king drank from the compromised cup. If you elders can get the people behind the cosmos, you have not an enemy. They are not at your king. Hello? Is she able to go? Is she able to go? Is she afraid of you? Can you? This is the reason I invited this man of Obinago to come and address the elders in council so that you can hear him word to word. The king was murdered by a group of people that conspired. Another woman. And the onus of finding the people behind this act is what we're supposed to be doing with as elders and council and not looking for people to execute. Now tell us who are these people? Who are they? Speak! Assistance. Ichiego beef. Not the guy who was all. Listen, we are Apuniko. We are talking about this other Apuniko for another land. We are talking about our own Apuniko. And I am saying to you, 
Let us go and bring them. The last time you came here, you, you made mention of the amalgamation. Bring peace to the Lord. Could you please throw more light on that? Our people have thrown spanner in killing work. I am no longer in a hurry to speak further. What do you mean? Our people have thrown spanner into the work. I don't understand. The man of Obinago and the men in council arrested for killing our king. Is not the order of our king. If it's not the murderer, then what are you looking at? Someday I'm going to be part of the ruling class, though I'm not a member yet. But I want to tell you in my capacity as a king that the murderer of our king is said to be arrested. You see, we may make the mistake of punishing innocent people. But when the God of the just rises, he will fight for his people. Yes. There is a very strong allegation leveled against you. This is the staff of Aguniko Barak. He wants you to step forward and swear an oath to vindicate yourself. The allegation that is leveled against you is that you had a hand the king. Me. Do you know anything about the sudden death of the king? Let it not be as if I am cutting into the statement of Her Majesty the Queen. But there is something important I need to explain here. I need to make this very important explanation before we continue. We all know the process when it comes to swearing before the staff of the product of our as it concerns the accused and the accused. I want to ask you, are we sure we are ready for this? Because the priest of our is making an allegation himself. What do you know about the death of the king? In the early days, people who were in charge of what the king is not doing were paid to swear oath of allegiance that they could never poison the king. I'm beginning to feel that they, all of you that are in charge of what I did, you get the same 
Your Majesty, this is your special. I mean, you call it special because it's completely made here in the palace. And it's especially made by you, for you, to celebrate your Yes. Why do you now sound like you don't trust me anymore, Your Majesty? Ah. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, lately, I still having that funny feeling that people are trust me, ultimately. Princess to marry the Mary that murdered the king. The girls are making a move to unite already tell you, and the Obinago people. As we wait for the gods to complete what they have started. Let them conclude it. The God has to conclude it. You, what in the age of all people, you conspired with ordinary palace maiden. So how can I make a new year nation of the kingdom sense? Hey! <laughs> It was said that any man that marries me becomes the king of the little kingdom. I got betrothed to a bit more cage because he was seen as the credible one. But it is remarkable that I later married a man of the Well, remarkable may not ultimately be the right word. I think God just wanted to intervene. And he did things his own way. And now, finally, 
will be now already done. I think this is indeed an act. Thank you. 